Anthony Harwig here with a Louisville softball player profile. I am joined by Maddie Benson of the Louisville Leopards, the new home run queen who broke the record this season for most home runs in a season by a leopard. Maddie, thank you so much for joining us today. Thank you for having me. I guess we, we got to start by talking about that. Uh, the, the home run record, uh, you were able to break it uh, late in the season. You hit 12 home runs this year. How did it feel to just kind of break that record and, and the success that you were able to have on the plate? Well, I mean, it's re- it's a rewarding feeling for sure. Um, you know, it's it's a uh, it's an honor just to play for the Leopard program. Um, you know, it's also a very honored feeling to know that I get to be in the books with some of the best Leopard kids that have come out of this program. Yeah, and you said that this program is prestigious. It won a state championship in 2019. A lot of those seniors were robbed of their senior season after 2020, and then it seemed like you had a bunch of young kids come up in, in 2021 and try to just kind of grab this program and, and put their own identity on it. Uh, now that you're in your sophomore season, it's completed. How much do you think these young players have really kind of stamped their name on this uh, on this program? Well, I mean, we are a young team, and young team needs maturity to be able to be successful. But um, I think that will come as we grow. And uh, throughout our season, we we made growth, and that was the most important thing. You know, going into postseason, we uh, we were so much better than our first game, so that was definitely a rewarding feeling as well. But um, you know, it's just it's just maturity that's that's big in softball. To hit like you do, you got to have some confidence. You got to have some confidence in yourself. Um, how, where does that confidence from, from you come from, and and how confident do you feel in yourself in your swing? Well, I feel like my confidence comes from my training. I know I put in the work. I know I fix my mechanics. Um, I know I dedicate myself to the sport enough to know that I can trust myself in situations and in high situations where the pressure's on. Um, I really feel like my confidence comes from that. And um, I think my confidence needs to actually improve a little bit going in through my uh, junior year. And uh, I would definitely work on that. But, yes, confidence plays a big part when you step in that box. I tell you, you bring 12 home runs in the season and a record into the into your junior season, you better be confident. Uh, the other thing that about your game that gets overlooked because of the offensive numbers you put up, your glove is so consistent in the left side of that infield. How much pride do you take in your, in your defense and the fact that defense can be consistent and you're not going to go through slumps on defense? Well, defense defense is an aspect of the game that wins games. You know, you guys can hit and teams can out hit people, but defense is what locks down a game. And um, at Louisville, defense is the number one. It's it's the number one thing. Like it has to be there to win a game. So I take a great amount of pride in that. I practice that a lot to know that my defense has to be. It has to be. uh, It has to be spot spot on, even if my bat's not. Your teammate Kenzie Denzer is right next to you in the lineup. She's also right next to you in the infield. You gotta talk to me about this dynamic between you and her, and what the relationship is like between you two. Oh, we we have great chemistry. Um, I've grown up playing with her in little leagues, so playing with her goes back a long time. Um, I I trust her; she trusts me back, and that's the type of chemistry you need to have a great relationship the way that we do. So, I mean that that's pretty that's pretty awesome. You get to play defense behind Katie Heath, who. In a world where everyone falls in love with the strikeout, Katie Heath is that pitcher that loves to just make you have weak contact and loves the batters to put the ball in play and trust you guys. What's it like to play defense behind a pitcher like that that lets you guys get involved in the game? Well, I mean, that's definitely a – that's a good thing because – and then everybody's engaged. You know, once you have a really good pitcher, I feel like sometimes the defense isn't as, ga- isn't as engaged as what they need to be. So we each get our opportunity to make, you know, make the plays, make the outs. So for us to come in and win games and have our defense be spot on, that, that, that's, that's awesome. Coach Miller comes into the program this year, takes over. Uh, what, what has it been like welcoming her into the Leopard program and, and what has she brought to the table and, and what kind of things has she taught you this season? Well, she was our assistant last year, so she was kind of already in this program. Um, she, she brings the energy. I, everybody loves playing for her. She is super into it. You know, when a kid's down, she's the first one there. So being able to play for a coach who cares for her kids and cares for the energy of the team, 
I mean, you couldn't ask for a better coach than that. Switching coaches is never really an easy thing, but I'm, I'm assuming that be, because she was an assistant, you guys were already comfortable with her, and it, it was an, it was a pretty smooth transition when she just took the next step to head coach. Yeah, it was it was a pretty smooth transition. Um, we had to get to know our assistant coaches a little bit more, but um, the head coach wasn't really a big problem. Um, yes, we were sad. Coach Arnie, um, you know, left the program, but – you know, Miller had some big shoes to fill, and she did great. When you think about this program and the fact that you get to put on that jersey every every night and, and you get to represent Louisville, what makes you the most proud that you represent Louisville and you get to wear leopards across your chest? Well, I love playing for my school. I love that deep da- um, hometown feeling that I get every night. Um, something a little bit about that jersey is that's my role model's jersey. You know, that was Casey Olis's jersey. So when I get to put that on and play in her jersey that she won, you know, state and made the career that she made, that that's the most honorable feeling that any player could go through. Literally her jersey. I mean, they don't retire it. It's yep. literally the one that yep. she wore. And uh, it's got a, it's, it's one of the unique feelings of high school sports. I bet it makes you just kind of take a deep breath every time you go on the field. Um, summer ball is coming up. Travel ball is coming up. What organization do you play for? And – how much do you think travel ball helps you improve yourself and, and fine tune your skills? Well, I play for the Ohio Hawks um, hardballed. So um, I feel like travel has really helped me with the pressure of high situations. Um, you know, I'm putting those through some of the biggest tournaments around. So I'm used to it. So, you know, I come to high school and it's like second nature. So I get to play, I get to compete with some of the best kids in travel. So coming to high school, you know, I'm able to do that. You know, when you're around your travel teammates and your opponents, those are girls that are filled with dreams. They want to aspire. They want to play at the next level. That's why they're there. How much does that drive you to achieve your goals when you're looking around, whether it's your opponent or your teammates, and they're all putting the same amount of work you are in to do the same exact thing that you're trying to do? Well, you know, every every even your teammates um, push you to be better. You know, I push them, they push me. So, and even my opponents. So that's something that you, you strive to outwork your opponent and your teammates, but you got to push them. And that's what makes them, that's what makes a team a really good team is that they push each other to their full potential and they each put in the work that needs to happen to be able to win a game. I'm sure you've been able to build a lot of relationships past the Louisville program on the travel ball scene. Uh, who's your best friend that doesn't wear a Louisville uniform? Oh, well, I got quite a few of them. Um, Brooke Manning's a big one. She um, She's a commit to Arizona. So she's pushed me, and I've really pushed her to uh, to strive for that for that dream goal. So um, you know, I'm, I'm honored that she's in my life, and uh, I'll keep pushing her through the season, and uh, she'll do the same. I know you're just a sophomore and you can't commit early anymore like you used to be able to in softball, but God, is there like a dream school or when you look at the college softball realm and you say like, if I could pick anywhere or any coach or any program to play for, is there one that kind of comes to mind? Well, honestly, I'm kind of that person who keeps all my options open. Um, I'd be happy to go anywhere, anywhere that, you know, trust me to come play for the program. So yeah, I would definitely be hitting the college camps hard this year. For sure, but um, I just I want I want to keep that option open to anybody. Do you have anyone you root for when you're watching the college tournament that just started today? Um, I re- um I root for the Virginia Tech Hokies. All right. Yeah, and I also root for some other ones that are in there. So that's um, I'm always my family's a big Penn State fan. So you know I root for a lot of people. That's great. Um, when you look at some of the goals that you set for yourself coming into the season, I want to reflect a little bit on the goals you set at the start. And now that your season is over, how, how well you think you did at achieving the goals that you set at the start of the season? Well, the start of the season, I wasn't off to the greatest start. Um, I was kind of in a slump. So my goal was to break out of the slump, which I ended up doing. Um, I just let my mechanics you know, do what I do. Um, I wasn't pressing in the box towards the end of the season. Um, I trusted myself. I trusted, 
you know, my coaches who put their trust in me. So that was that was my goal was just to become relaxed and do my job, which was either score my hitter, score my runners or get on base. It is a very young team like we talked about, but I would be remiss to not let you shout out the seniors and Jenna and, and Brooke and what they kind of taught you on how to be a leader and how much you're going to miss them going forward and kind of the lessons that they handed down to you. Well, I mean, they were big on the energy part as well. So, and uh, they pushed me to communicate with my teammates. So that's been a big part. I mean, those, those two are very loud and are very loud in the dugout. So taking that and cheering for my teammates, you know, bringing that, that energy that's so contagious is very important when it comes to softball. All right, for both of them, give me a favorite memory with Jenna and then a favorite memory with Brooke. Oh, I think I think Brooks has to be tagging out runners going to second. That's that's just that's our chemistry. And then Jenna's was probably when she hit the uh, go ahead. The yeah, I think it was the go ahead run at Howland. That was that was pretty cool. So you guys were kind of chasing each other with the team lead in home runs this year. Yeah, yeah, we did. Uh, so now I want to do some rapid fire questions to get, you know, you a little bit off the field since we get to know you so well on the field. I'm going to start with, um, what is your favorite thing about playing a softball and being a softball player? Um, I think my favorite part about playing softball is the ability to compete. Um, I've always been a competitor, um, growing up, I was always a competitor. So having that ability to compete against some of the best kids you know, in the country is, is amazing. Obviously softball takes up a lot of your time and you, you're dedicated to it. If you look around and you see all the sports that are available, you could play any sport that's not softball. What would you want to play? Well, I play high school soccer, so I would definitely be a soccer player if I didn't play softball. So, yeah. Are there any sports you don't, well, the, you don't play that you would like to kind of get like, if you could go back in time and get interested in, you would do it. Uh, I definitely thought about lacrosse. Lacrosse is a fun sport. I love watching it. I have some of my family members who have played it, so I definitely would think about that for sure. What do you do in times when you have to kind of take your mind off softball and you want to relax or you want to have a hobby or or just kind of let your mind kind of escape? Uh, I spend I spend some time with my my family, my friends. Um, I feel like those those two things are really special for me to just you know if i needed a break from softball i can run to those things and um and just just be a normal kid sometimes take us through a normal maddie benson game day routine oh um you know i come home i I change you know of course i have headphones in and then once i hit that dirt it's it's go time it's go time do you have any like superstitions or routines that you have to stick to every game or you feel off? Um, I like to, I like to time my shoes a certain way. Um, I like to time in a, a certain fashion, which I feel has really just that superstitious thing. And, um, I also enjoy, I also enjoy taking like lead role in, um, two bucket is what we call it. It's an outfield drill. Um, I feel like that's, that's big for my warmups, just to know that I'm engaged and I'm ready. What is one piece of advice that you or that you've gotten that you wish you gotten sooner in life? Um, ooh, that's a good question. Um, probably, probably not to put as much pressure on myself in high school as what I what I used to, as my freshman season. You know, high school is for fun, and you know you don't want to take that away. So don't put the amount of pressure that you that you put on yourself to succeed and just let go and have fun here. Obviously you're a student athlete. So what are some of the things that you like studying and and some of your favorite subjects in school? I'm, I love science and I love math. So those are my two favorite subjects in school. What, uh, what one do you struggle with the most? What subject is your bugaboo per se? I'm not a big fan of English. Or Spanish. I'm not a big fan of either of those. But yeah, uh, it's it's funny. Usually, people that like math don't like English, and it's like two sides of the brain that, that this doesn't go together. Yeah. Um, are you someone that likes group projects, or do you like to do the solo projects? 
I like to do group projects because I'm a team player. I love working with the team and just having a bunch of different um, skills to be able to use to make to make us to make something big. And I'm sure that uh, throughout your schooling career, you've had a lot of group projects. What's been like the favorite group project that you've had uh, that you've had assigned to you? Oh, um, probably. Probably a group project in Algebra 2 that we did. Um, that was pretty cool. We had to make a roller coaster with uh, parabolas. So, you know, we got to use different minds and, you know, different skills. So that was pretty cool. What teacher in Louisville has the hardest tests? Definitely, definitely Mr. Lewis. He, he challenges us on our tests. So I find him the most challenging sometimes. If you could go forward in time or back in time, which one would you rather do? Honestly, I would probably go ooh, I'd probably go forward in time just to be able to, you know, see my future, see the the impact that I've been able to make on people. So how far do you think you would want to go to to see that? Oh, um probably after my college career. If you yeah. could have dinner with anybody that's living or dead right now, who would you want to have a dinner with? <laughs> um, probably Pl- uh, Taylor Pleasance from LSU. I-, I really enjoy watching her and learning from her. There you go. But Be- you know, Beth Tarina is a great coach down there, and yeah, uh, Taylor Pleasance got it going on right now. Yes. Um, you- movies or books? Movies. Movies. What was the last movie that you saw in the theater? Ooh, I haven't been to the theater for a long time. I think it was like Jumanji or something. Um, what fictional death, probably in a movie, hit you the hardest? Ooh, um, honestly, I'm not really sure about that one. Uh, what movie do you quote the most? Quote the most. Ooh, um, I enjoyed... I enjoy, well, it's not really a movie. It's a TV show. I enjoyed okay. Friday Night Lights. So, uh, what was the last show that you binge watched on a streaming service? Grey's Anatomy. Uh, if you owned a company, what do you hope that it sells? Um, probably, probably softball equipment. What's your favorite uh, dinner meal? Steak. And is there a place that makes the best steak? Texas Roadhouse. There you go. And the rolls. Yep. Must must have the rolls. Um, yes, sir. If Gatorade came to you and said, we're going to make a flavor and we're going to have you name the flavor and, and decide what it's going to be, what kind of flavor do you think Gatorade you, would you make and what would you call it? Oh, I am a big fan of the, the blue, the cold blue and um, the mountain rush. I think is what it's called. Um, so like a mix between those two? Yes, yes. And now what's it call it? I I mean, there, there could be so many names for that one. Benson Ball. Yeah. <laughs> I got you. Uh, I want to give you the time to thank your support system and the people that are always there for you and, and the people that, uh, that, that really support you throughout your journey. Yeah, I mean, I'm definitely thankful for my family and my coaches who always push me to the to the to the level that I compete at today and um and I hope they continue to push me and I hope they continue to support me through my my college journey all right Maddie thank you so much for joining us today and talking to us about your incredible season and we wish you the best of luck the rest of your high school career we know that we're going to be talking to you again real soon thank you sir thank you